So you want to automate your house like all your friends, but you don't know how, and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Well, I'm going to show you how right after this. This, this is, uh, you know you listening to, to Travis. What up, players? Welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name is Travis, and I do tech videos every single week, and I have a blast doing them. If that sounds fun to you, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. But for a second, hang on. Let's get into the video. So you've decided to take the leap and automate your house, but you don't really know how, you don't know where to get started, and there's a lot of options. Well, I'm gonna show you one. Thanks to Amyson for sending over their smart plugs. Now, this is the exact type of device you'll need to automate lights and maybe other things in your house. We'll give you some ideas in this video. And it's not that difficult. We're gonna focus mainly on Amazon Alexa. We're not really gonna focus on the Google Assistant, but uh, it works the same for both. Once again, special thanks to Amy Sen for sending these over. Um, there's actually a discount code in the description below for my YouTube followers. If you're on Amazon watching this, you gotta go to YouTube, find this video, and you'll get a percentage off down in the description. We're gonna start off with lights. It's definitely one of the things most people wanna automate, and we'll show some other things too, but that's really what everyone wants to do is be able to turn their lights on and off. And this makes it super simple, and it's actually not that expensive. For four pack of these is about 48 bucks on Amazon, but with the discount code, even less and it makes it really simple to get started. So while there's really not a lot to unbox, let's look at the device itself. Now looking closely at this thing, it just looks like a power jack. Cause it is, that's exactly what it is. It just has some extra smarts inside. You'll actually see an on off button here on the side, which is great for manual use, but you won't really be needing that with what we're gonna do. The instructions that come with it actually tell you how to set up both a Google Assistant and an Echo device. And it's actually really simple. We're gonna go ahead and walk through it real quick. But first we gotta download the app. We're gonna download that app on my iPad and we'll go the rest of the way after that. So after you download the appropriate app, I actually had to scan the QR code because the one that came up in the App Store wasn't the right one. Uh, it'll ask you to register, just put in you know an email address and a password. It'll then ask you to go ahead and connect the device, so plug it into a wall and just follow what it shows. It's actually super simple. Once you get to the main app, then it will uh, show the, the plug that you just created. You can turn it on and off, pretty cool. And you're kind of on your way. You also can show scenes, which you can have at like sunrise, good night, leave it home. And when you come back home, you can turn different lights on and off. Super simple stuff. Uh, but what's really, really compelling is what you do when you connect it to Alexa. So let me show you how to do that. You'll go into your Alexa app. You will then add Smart Life to it. So you gotta go into skills, skills to pay the bills, and you'll look for Smart Life. Authorize it up, and then close the window. Discover devices. So there we go, boom. We added it, Let's see if we can find it, I called it kitchen like a dummy. There's so many things in my kitchen. I can edit the name. I will call it, let's call it coffee. Why would you do that? Well, because what's cool about this is you can plug this into say your coffee machine and in the morning you can say Alexa turn on coffee. So now if you go into groups, you can add it to a group. So you can say smart home group, let's call it the uh, office. And then let's look for that device, coffee. Maybe you have coffee in the office. Now you have an office, boom, where you can turn on and off anything that's in here. And you can add more devices as you add things to that room. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but uh, I actually just hooked up my camera light. Uh, let's try it. Alexa, turn off camera. Alexa, turn on camera. Yay! Now obviously you can plug a lamp into this thing and control your lights. You can plug in your coffee maker so that when you wake up you can tell your Echo to make you coffee. I mean, I don't actually make coffee, so I don't know how that actually works. I think if you turn, I don't know how it works. 
but you can plug anything in here and as long as when you turn on the power that device comes on it works so maybe there's something in your house that you can plug in that this would be great for leave me a comment below and let me know what that would be so there's a lot of uses for this. And for under 50 bucks to be able to start automating your home, that's pretty great. Now remember, you don't actually have to have an Alexa to do any of this. You can do it from your phone, there's an app. If you do have like an Echo Dot or something like that, you can do all types of cool stuff and it doesn't cost that much. They make you think that you have to spend hundreds of dollars to automate your house. You don't have to anymore. It's a lot more simple. So what else can you automate with this thing? Well. What if it's really hot in your house and you don't have air conditioning and you wanna turn the fan on, but it's all the way across the room and it's just too difficult to get to? Well, you can turn that on with the Amy Scent as well. What about your hair dryer? What about the curling iron that your girlfriend always leaves on when you leave the house, risking the house to be burned down? You can turn it off from your phone when you're at work and she tells you she forgot. So to be able to control four different devices in your home for under 50 bucks, plus if you go out and buy an Echo because you don't have one, still under 100, the future is now. So use that promotion code that's in the description below and let them know I sent you. I mean, maybe more people will send me cool stuff to review. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tell all your friends. We do this every single week. I hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love.